Become a channel member and support the content. You also get access to exclusive videos. You'll get an emote next to your name in the comments. The link for that can be found next to the subscribe button or in the description. And if you'd rather get your coins direct rather than roll the dice with FIFA points, head to u7buy.com and at checkout, use the code TVM for a discount. The link can be found down below. What is going on guys, Sivim here, welcome back to a brand new player review and today we have the inform, I would say the inform, what number is he on? Two, that's to be fair, the second inform Ben Yedda, I, I asked what number he was on because he's got that headliner of course, so I mean technically speaking he has had an 87 rated card already, but uh, since then most of us don't have 1.3 million coins to splash on the headliner, I thought um, we might as well take a look at this, now of course I have been lucky enough to get it as a red pick, and he will play the the weekend league uh, for me. I'm going to replace Messi with him because, uh, well, just for the time being. If he's better than Messi, I have got absolutely no problems with keeping him in the team full full time. But uh, I've got a funny feeling Messi's going to just um, just nip him to the or pip him to the post, should we say? Four star skills, three star, no, five star weak foot. What am I talking about? High high work rate. It's not ideal for a striker. I have converted him to a centre forward to fit him in the team for chemistry, but on top of that, I probably will play him in the team as a cam. For the review, though, he will be reviewed as a striker, and he played ahead of Maradona. Uh, 89 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, which, I mean, it's all right. I would, I mean, I don't know whether I would expect it to be quicker. You know, like, Ben is not a slouch. He's not a slow player. In previous FIFAs, he's been faster. Why not in this FIFA? I'm not sure. Is it because he's 30 years of age now? I'm not sure. 94 positioning, 92 finishing, which is very, really good. 87 shot power, of course, very nice. 87 short passing, 85 vision. Free kicks, not the best. Crossing, not the best. Long passing, awful. Do you need any of them? Um, not really. If you're going to play him as a winger, then obviously crossing, problem. Uh, but if you are going to play him as a cam or as a striker, you shouldn't have to worry about the crossing, really. Uh, his dribbling across the board is very good. You'd expect him to be very good at dribbling as well. Low center of gravity, 5 foot 7. Moderate acceleration. I say moderate. It's fast. 89 is fast. It's just not as fast as some well, fullbacks in particular. But as, as, as many striker use today now, they, they often have 90 plus pace. Now, of course, I do have a catalyst on him. As a striker, is the catalyst the best chem style to use? Absolutely not. Are you going to want to use a hunter on him? Yes, because you want to bump up the acceleration and the sprint speed as much as possible. Um, I, I, I would like to have boosted the finish in the positioning and the shot power if I were to use him as a striker. Like I said, he will be a cam in this team. So, uh, the, yeah, he was just behind Maradona. Or maybe he's behind Rashford, actually. Actually, I can't quite... No, no. I want to use him as a cam, but I used him as a striker in the review. That was it. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what is going on in this review right now. I'm all over the place. the The big elephant in the room here really is the stamina, right? So he's got 72 stamina. It's not ideal. He somehow gets lucky here. He bundles his way through, takes the ball off Allison. Allison does nothing wrong, and we get a penalty. But I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, and we are gonna dispatch that to make it one all on the day. I've had a bit of a problem with Ben Yedder this year. I've used his base card, uh, as I'm sure most of us have, which still has a price of around, what, 11, 12k. Uh, I would say miraculously, but of course it's that price due to the fact that he's an 84. But I wasn't a massive fan of him. Like, he was alright, but I wasn't a huge fan of him. And I think I used, I think I got a chance to use the 86 rated inform as well. And again, he was alright, there was nothing wrong with him. He just wasn't like, blow my socks off good. And that's kind of what I'm looking for in a card that's going to cost me, what, half a million coins, there or thereabouts, about 475k. He'll come down in price once Team of the Year is released, uh, because obviously everyone will be ripping packs and they'll pack in, be packing in forms for days. But um, yeah, it, it's just something to think about, really. Stamina's a little on the lower side, not a card that's necessarily going to blow me away, or hasn't blown me away while using it. And yeah, it's just a lot of money. But... On the other hand, a card that links to Mbappe gets a nice little link to Neymar as well. Not as strong as Mbappe, but still. French, of course, so he links to any special card EA release because every special card EA release is French. Uh, it has been for the last two FIFAs. I'm not complaining. France has probably got some of the best players in the world. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's just 
you know, that EA tend to release a lot of French special items. This guy is fast when it comes to using that bridge as well. Uh, if you're obviously looking for a new way of, of beating defenders, because now that the stepovers have basically gone, you can still kind of use them, but not really. And you maybe have just discovered the bridge, or maybe you've just been doing the bridge all along. This guy's bridge is unreal. Whether you do the variant of the two bumpers and then the flicked uh, R3, I think it is, or the, the a right analog stick, uh, or you do the actual bridge where you double tap R1 or RB, he is very, very quick and, and nimble and agile at getting around his uh, his opponent. I like that a lot. His positioning, some of the best you'll you'll see as well. Look at that. Goes through to make that run without any instruction on him whatsoever because it's down to positioning and it's down to work rate. High attacking work rate. Very high positioning stat at 94. Of course, we've not touched that, but you'll get even more if you give him a hunter. He's uh, always willing to make the run, and he makes it into the right channels as well. Big fan. Look at this as well. Look at that ball from Adama Traore. That is outrageous. And look at that bottom of your screen, or rather middle of your screen. There's Ben Yedda. And he's got, of course, that five-star weak foot to pop it in with his left foot. His positioning there, very underrated. No one would talk about it. If you score that goal... You'll be thinking, what a pass from Adama. You won't be thinking, how has Ben Yedder even, even had the forethought to run into that position? Because Ben, you know, like Adama's ball to, to Robin is insane. Don't get me wrong. But apart from Iron, Robin, and Adama, no one's expecting that, right? However, Ben Yedder was expecting it because he's already started running, thinking, if Robin gets on the end of this, I'm going to need to be in a goal scoring position. And the defenders weren't aware of it. And that is the positioning coming through. The card is very good, right? Not, I wasn't blown away by the base. The 86 is good, but it's not like, oh my god, I can't believe how good this card is. I need to go buy it. The 87, again, is very, very good. But again, it's not one of those ones that really got me like, oh god, he's so good in front of goal. He's so good at doing this. He's so good at doing that. It was one of those, I expect him to be this good because his stats are that high. You know, it, it kind of met my expectation it didn't really exceed it too much. Is he worth the money? Possibly. Uh, it's a lot of money to spend. 500,000 coins there or thereabouts on one single card, who, by the way, already has a better card on the market, will probably get himself some sort of team of the season or at least another special item at some point during this game cycle. We're only, we, we're what, hours away? Well, I am hours away from Team of the Year. You're probably already in amongst it if they released it. And of course, we're not crazy far away from a new sort of set of promos and even Team of the Season. So is it worth spending half a million coins on a card that you may look to improve on in the re like near future, really? Only you can answer that question. If you pack him this week, give him a try before you ship him out. If you've got him as a red pick, you are one lucky son of a gun. Even if you don't decide to put him in your team over maybe one of the icons you've packed or something, super sub-wise, this guy's going to be very, very good off the bench. I like him a lot. I think he's a really good card. I just don't know if half a million coins is really justifiable when there are an awful lot, like Rashford, for example. I'm not going to compare them necessarily, but Rashford's card's nowhere near this price, and I could probably have a little bit more fun with Rashford than Ben Yedder. Each to their own, I suppose. Let me know what you think of the card in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed the review, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.